a new vlog. I'm going to be vlogging um, the next couple of days instead of doing weekly outfit diaries because there's so many fun things going on over the next couple of days in the build up to Christmas. So I thought I would do a few a week instead of just the one. So hopefully there's gonna be lots of nice things I can share with you. It is Sunday today. It's a very, very cold Sunday. I feel like my face is so cold. I'm not even talking properly. Um, and we've taken our two little hounds out for a walk on Clapham Common and then the rest of the day we're just kind of spending at home. I've got a really exciting package waiting for me at home that I'm going to unbox with you guys um, and then Charlie and I are going to pick up our Black Friday orders now. We ordered some very exciting things from John Lewis, a kettle and a toaster but Charlie is very excited to pick them up. So yeah, I'm just going to walk around the common and then take these two little boys back to the house. <laughs> home now and I'm very much looking forward to just spending the afternoon at home. It is half past three but it feels like already the evening and it's so dark outside but I'm quite looking forward to just spending the afternoon at home relaxing and as mentioned I do have a very exciting delivery that I want to unbox with you guys. So here we have my exciting delivery and it is the new Honor 7X phone. This is actually not out yet. I have been very, very fortunate to have been sent one of these before its release date, which is, I believe, the 5th of December, so not too long to wait. It is a very, very competitive price point and has so many incredible features, so I'm really looking forward to trying it out, and I will, of course, let you guys know how I get along. So this is the phone. It has got this beautiful, metallic, very premium-looking body, I must say, and then on the back, I've noticed that there are two camera lenses so that dual camera lens normally leads to better photo quality and this phone has really super quick auto focusing and because of the dual lens it means you get a really big aperture as well which means hopefully and this is what I'm really excited about you're going to get that beautiful DSLR effect when out and about which hopefully means I won't have to lug my ginormous camera out with me and by that I mean you know sometimes on Instagram your favorite fashion bloggers might have that gorgeous blurred out background effect this phone can achieve this whereas normally you have to to spend thousands of pounds on a big camera to get that kind of effect. So I'm very much looking forward to this. Let's switch it on. I don't know what it is about new technology, but I get so excited about things like this. I feel like if you're unboxing a new phone at Christmas, then you're likely to just spend the rest of Christmas day playing around with it. I know that that's what I'll be doing this afternoon. So of course I have already done quite a bit of research on this phone and there's a few features that I'm really excited to try out. One of which is the screen split mode. I'm the kind of person that likes to be super productive and whether that means multitasking, doing a couple of things at once, I think that that mode is one that I'm really gonna get a lot of use out of. The main thing for me probably is that amazing picture quality and photo taking ability that this phone allows and then also when I'm working I like to have a big screen. Obviously I do watch a lot of YouTube videos so it's going to be amazing for me to watch my videos on such a ginormous screen. I mean that is absolutely incredible. So I'm going to spend the next hour or so setting this up um, and over the next few days and weeks I will let you know how I get along with it. Of course a phone is a big investment, it's something that you carry with you all day every day. We are a generation that is glued to our phones so it's so important to choose one that works for you not just necessarily the one that all your friends have. Um, so yeah, I'm very much looking forward to sharing my thoughts on this one with you. So I've spent the past 10 minutes or so just getting myself all logged in to my favourite apps and things on the new phone. I have to say the huge wide screen is really impressing me so far. On Instagram the picture quality just looks absolutely amazing and you do get the full impact of the picture because it takes up your entire screen which I love. YouTube as well because it is such a wide screen. It's very cinematic so it's going to be amazing watching all my YouTube videos on there. Um, so now I'm just going to do all the other fun bits like making a pretty wallpaper, setting all of that up because everything, as it's an Android phone, because everything is all connected to Google. I just had to sign into my Google once, my Gmail, and then everything was already logged in. So my YouTube, my emails, everything's all logged in so it didn't take me too long to set up at all. I'm actually now going to edit some of my videos in front of the fire and then I'm going to do a bit more phone setting up later on. But for now, time to do some editing and time for another coffee. <laughs> a few hours later and I've had a very productive afternoon. Charlie has been working away in the kitchen and we're having now a very relaxed Sunday dinner in front of the TV by the fire. We have got roast lamb. Can you see that down there? Dickens's 
looking like he might <laughs> might try and go for it. There's a bit left over for them. Lucky boys. Roast lamb, sweet potatoes, sprouts and bacon. So I'm gonna dig in and I'll catch up with you later. Good morning, it's Monday morning and um, last night I didn't really say goodnight or finish off properly. I went into a bit of a food coma after our amazing roast lamb dinner. So sorry about that. But today is, to start with, we're just working from home. I have just prepared my mid-morning snack, picked up a couple of cakes while I was in Gales yesterday. So I'm going to enjoy those now, although Dickens is giving them the eye. It's not allowed any. You're not allowed any cakes, my little monkey. I also had a really lovely delivery this morning from um, a brand that I recently did a talk for. So I recently was invited into this company's office to do a talk all about influencer marketing and they sent this lovely gift over this morning. It is a personalised Aspinall passport cover. It's got my initials down at the bottom there. So that's a very, very kind little thank you gift from them. So this morning already has been fairly productive. I've already filmed a video, hopefully going to film another video shortly, and then heading into town this afternoon to shoot some more content. I'm going to try out the camera on the phone as well, and hopefully I can get some lovely Instagram photos in the festive vibe that is London. Everywhere is looking so beautiful and festive at the moment, and I'm dying to give my Instagram a bit of a festive makeover, so hopefully capture some lovely content on the phone later on this afternoon. So I'll take you along for that. Oh, and then I have a really lovely dinner this evening with one of my favourite brands, Liz Earl, so it'll be nice to take you along to that as well. Look out, here she comes The woman that I love It's too bad she'll never know Yeah, I can't tell her how I feel On. I am with lovely April Hello. and we decided to leave the house and do something a little bit fun. We also need to take a couple of vlog photos um, and Instagram stories so I'm going to be putting my new phone to the test. We have come to a place called Winterville woo. which <laughs> yes woo exactly it is literally Clapham's answer to um, Winterville. Oh what are your thoughts going? It's great. It's great actually. It is. It is. It's good. There's loads of fairground rides. There's a little uh, like a roller coaster behind me. Nutcrackers. There's German sausages. Yeah. Christmas market fix. Exactly. <laughs> so we're gonna just make the most of the fact that it's still fairly light, and yet all the festive lights around here are on. We're gonna take some Instagram stories to talk about how to layer for your winter outfits. So let's see how this phone compares to a big SLR camera like uh, this one. We're gonna be comparing the picture quality between this and my big camera, because let's be honest, we yeah. just can't be bothered to take this camera out with us anymore, it's so it's big. Huge. It's so <laughs> enormous. So for the sake of our shoulders, let's see if yeah. we can get some nice photos on the new Honor phone. Let's do it, let's go, yay! later on now and I'm just about to head out for dinner. I've got a really lovely event this evening with Liz Earl and it's at the Gore Hotel in Kensington which is actually where Kate Middleton got ready for her wedding um, so it should be really really lovely. I'm very much looking forward to it. Outfit of the evening. I've gone very festive white snow queen for tonight. This top is from Jack Wills, which really surprised me that it was Jack Wills actually. I always think of them as like cozy knitwear. Um, accessory wise, I'm just wearing my Pandora necklace, Astrid and Mew earrings, usual Michael Kors watch, Monica Vinita ring and Monica Vinita bracelet. Skirt, this is actually an old one from Club Monica. I've had this for a few years now and I keep bringing it out every winter. I just feel like it's such a lovely classic number. Then I've got my Chloe Nile bracelet bag in the rose gold, which I, I'm just so happy with this bag. I love it so much. It's definitely gonna be the handbag that I wear for all my Christmas parties. And then down here, you can see my shoes. These are my Valentino rock studs. 
again in the gold colour, trying to show you them, bend down to show you my shoes. And I'm going to be wearing my River Island coat, forever mixing high street and high end. I just absolutely adore this coat, I think it looks beautiful, so I'll show you how it looks with this on. So this is the finished look with the coat. I am totally all white and gold this evening, really like this look. So this is my outfit of the evening. My taxi has just arrived, perfect timing. I didn't actually get everything done on my to-do list this afternoon, so I'm gonna carry on working in the taxi. I also have to publish the Instagram stories of the photos that we took earlier at Winterville, so it's gonna be quite a productive car journey. But anyway, time to go. I will see you later on. with an amazing gym session. I feel so much better having done a workout. Um, and today I'm now spending the rest of the day in town. I've come to the detox kitchen. I'm gonna get myself a nice healthy breakfast to refuel for the day. I'm gonna work from here for a little bit. And then I've actually got a blow dry for the Bradley Press Day. They're doing it at drive-by. Um, so that'll be really nice. And then I'm gonna take some photos. So it should be a fun day to take you along with me. Actually, I've got quite a lot of pampering things today. I'm then going to get a pedicure later on this afternoon. And also, I'm doing a collaboration with De Beers, as in diamonds. Um, so I'm going to pick out some pieces in their store later on as well. So lots of fun things going on today, but first things first, coffee and breakfast. dried and curled and tonged and pinned and this is the finished effect it is seriously voluminous hopefully it's going to last outside it's drizzling a little bit oh my gosh we can't let these curls go to waste so it's a little bit later on i have pinned my amazing blow dry back into a bun because i really want it to last till tomorrow so that was that was his top tip was to pin it all back um, and then tonight I'm probably going to sleep with a, with a shower cap on or something along those lines. Uh, so we have just been into Boots. We filmed a little Instagram takeover for them, which was fun. Next on the agenda today is heading to De Beers. We're going to be looking at some lovely sparkly pieces, which are going to be shots for some Christmas content that I'm doing next week. So we're making our way there now, and then just a couple more meetings, and then my petty date, my last afternoon meeting, and then home for an evening of work. on time but we keep getting distracted by all the beautiful festive decorations all around Bond Street if you're visiting London and you want to get some really nice festive photos for Instagram definitely check out all of the streets around Bond Street like old Bond Street the street the carriages are on they are all so so beautiful so slight distraction aside running a tad late but never mind all worth it for the Instagram <laughs> way 
to my final meeting of the day. I couldn't vlog in De Beers because it was quite intense, as you can probably imagine, very high security. Um, but that last diamond that you saw, the last ring that I tried on, was worth nearly a million pounds, which was quite surreal to have something that valuable on my finger. I don't think I've ever seen anything or let alone worn something that valuable so that was quite an amazing experience um, they were teaching me all about the process of rough diamonds about the diamond grading system because I didn't have a clue I just don't know anything about diamonds so that was very insightful learned a lot um, but yeah on my way to the last meeting of the day now and then it's home time back home again now after a very busy and productive day of meetings and photo shoots and everything else that happens in a busy vlogger day. Before I wrap up this vlog as well, I have to quickly show you my new leggings. So these are from Topshop, I picked these up today and oh my goodness, they are the most comfortable things I have worn in so so long. They're like, they feel like cashmere but they were £22 so I'm also going to leave these linked down below as well because they're just the best things for lounging around the house, especially at this time of year. And I feel like you guys will love them as much as I do. So yeah, as always, everything that I've talked about in this video will be linked down below. Um, and I'm going to end this vlog here because I'm aware it's been quite a long one. If you got to the end, then leave the word bouquet. Leave the word bouquet somehow in the comments section down below. And that is all from me. So thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you very soon in my next one. Bye.